Hello and welcome to the Tuesday Checklist, our weekly get-together to talk about games we love and which now happens on a Wednesday. We're keeping the name though. This week we got thinking about all the lucky girls and boys who got a PS4 for Christmas and what game we'd recommend to all those PlayStation newcomers. Basically, what's your number one most essential PS4 game of the lot? Dave is here to kick us off. Well, friends, uh, hopefully you'll agree with me when I say we love this question. It's the sort of thing that will come up in the office every now and again. <laughs> Suddenly out of nowhere, we'll be like, imagine if you just got a PS4 now. It would be amazing. All the incredible experiences that you've got uh, are waiting for you, just laid out. Just, But where do you start? Then it gets more difficult. Then we argue and we fight. And that's why uh, many members of PlayStation Access have been killed. Um, <laughs> What? Dan, you know, yeah, oh, sorry, Elle, did we not explain? <laughs> That's awkward. No, it's, 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 I, I love the idea of someone just getting a PlayStation 4 now and having like all of this massive library of incredible games to choose from, but then I hate being asked to pick one game and, you know, really you should tailor the game to the person, uh, not just say, you know, anyone out there. Um, you should play this game, except my game, which I think will satisfy almost any requirement. Horizon Zero Dawn, my first platinum. Yeah! Hooray! I thought you were going to say Rocket League, and I was like, is he saying Rocket League? My second platinum, Rosie. Thank you so much for bringing <laughs> that up. Why? <laughs> uh, we won't talk about platinum number three. Um, I absolutely love Horizon Zero Dawn, and I do think that it just ticks so many boxes in terms of what you want to to show someone welcome to this new world of of PS4 and just and just gaming just like do you want a treat for your eyes that's a big tick in a box do you want a massive open world to explore uh, and I personally love environmental storytelling big tick in a box right there do you want a story to get completely lost in and intrigued by and relationships to care about do you want uh, unrivaled just gameplay mechanics i think the, the the combat with the machines is so incredibly nuanced and clever and like something i'd never seen before i remember you know seeing the the, the initial uh, gameplay reveal at e3 where uh, Aloy took down, I think it's a, a Thunderjaw. And just, you know when you see gameplay sometimes and you've just not never seen these mechanics before, so you're just like, well, how's that gonna work? You know, she's, she's shooting individual components of this giant machine. And it's just like, you know, previously, you'd seen like bosses with maybe like three glowing components that you could <laughs> remove. This is made up of like tens, maybe hundreds of components, all of which you can in individually remove and that have a kind of like gameplay like reaction. Like, you know, take you can take off its, its weapons and use it against it. I'm getting very bogged down in this one specific <laughs> area. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, I just absolutely loved and I'm so glad that um, I was challenged by by my colleagues and friends <laughs> to... Uh, Don't look at me when you say it. Don't look at me To get my first platinum because I, um, I had only really scratched the surface when I stopped playing the first time because something else had come along that I'd, I'd started playing. Um, and there was so much more to do, so much more to explore. And getting the platinum was a real good reason to 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 see everything. Or, and uh, to be honest, I haven't seen everything. I've seen as much as I I, I can or could at that time. And I've still got the Frozen Wilds DLC to go. But um, I genuinely think there. I just think it's just such an amazing place to start. And. If someone is, is picking up a PS4 for the first time, I think you'd be hard pushed to think of a better place to start them off than right there. So there you go, Horizon Zero Dawn. Get it played. I agree. If I could recommend just one game, it would be Grand Theft Auto V. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the twist! The twist! Yeah. So I wanted to go with Apex Legends because one, it's free, it's after Christmas, we've all got no money. I was like, uh, you know, but I think you have to love uh, first person shooters. So that was going to be my original recommendation. And then I thought, well, if you if you haven't decided what genre you love yet, like maybe forgetting a PS4, this could be your first console. You could have not had a console for a very long time. Maybe this is, you know, kind of your reintroduction or very first introduction to the world of games. And Grand Theft Auto really is just every game ever rolled into one. 
you know, if you want to shoot a lot of people, <laughs> you can definitely do that. But there's also, you know, there's uh, like melee combat, you can race cars, you can kind of do secret sniper missions, or you can do big blazing blowy thing up missions if you're that kind of person. And I think it's just... You can do taxi missions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can be a psychopath if you so choose. Um, and I think for me, I'm obviously a big Grand Theft Auto fan. If I could have, I would have picked San Andreas, which, you know, you can get on a PS4, just saying. But, <laughs> um, but the thing about, obviously the thing about Five is that not only is it everything you've come to expect from Grand Theft Auto, which is this huge world, these incredible characters that are always really funny. That's the thing I love about it is just the humor and the life that they put into that world um, and just the really extensive range of missions you can do. So as I said, you can just, there's a bit of everything and you'll, you know, very quickly figure out what you like, what you don't like. But I think the, the thing about Five is that it has only grown since it came out. So it's now been out for years and years and years, like 2013, I think. So, you know, you think we'd be done with it now. You know, we've got short attention spans <laughs> onto the next, but we're not. You know, they've got this huge online community now. It's bigger than it's ever been before. Um, do be careful when you venture into online. Everybody's very good. <laughs> 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 um, but it's, it just expands that world. So you, you're going to have a ridiculous amount of time just in the base game alone. But then when you're done, it's just not enough. And so knowing that you then have this essentially endless world online to go into is absolutely incredible. And for me, the fact that it's still so, just as I said, bigger than ever is is unbelievable to me because it's it's the dream come true that you finish a game that you love, a world that you fell into and became a part of. Yes, I am a gangster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you can just, and then someone's like, oh, hey, do you want to just play forever? And I'm like, oh, okay, yes, sign me up, which I love. And then they're also rolling out new content all the time, all the time. The heists are so much fun. Who doesn't love heists? And, and so for me, I think it, it would be the one game I recommend you. I genuinely think I could play just that for the rest of my life. That was a lie, but anyway. <laughs> but if, if you really force me to, I could definitely, you know, just get into that. And, and I think it's, Whatever you want to do, if you want to play with your friends, you can. If you want to play by yourself, you can. If you want to be really good and drive around, obeying all the laws, you can do that. If you want to go absolutely mad, you can do that. If you want to do missions, you can. If you never want to touch a mission, you could still play that game for like 200 hours and never even do the storyline. It's absolutely incredible. And I do think it's one of those games that can be anything to anybody. And so if you just got a PS4, please immediately download it and be nice to me if you bump into me online. Thanks. So, if you've just got a PS4 for Christmas or your birthday, congratulations. Welcome to our lovely family. Um, a, a game, <laughs> a game that I would welcome you. <laughs> a game that I would recommend to you, and I've gone slightly more left field here, but still with a game that I firmly believe everyone who plays will absolutely love, and that game is Persona 5. Ooh. I say left field is one of the most critically acclaimed games <laughs> yeah. ever released. Um, <laughs> it's an absolutely outstanding game in just all departments. Um, it's, a, it's a Japanese role-playing game. If you're immediately thinking, oh no, I can't, I can't be doing the Japanese role-playing games. Just, just get rid of all preconceptions of what you think a Japanese role-playing game is, and just please, for the love of God, play Persona 5 because it's ridiculously good. Um, so the, the basic premise is you play as um, a school kid called Joker. That's like his nickname, um, who's relocated because he's wrongfully accused of assault. Um, so he gets kicked out of his school and placed in this other school um, and this school or, or just the town or the area in which you're in in general is, is sort of full of adults who are not particularly nice people and the overall plot is the, of the game is you and a bunch of your friends who, who form this group called the Phantom Thieves which is really cool anyway um, <laughs> your job is to and this is sort of like the Matrix meets Reverse Inception. Your job is to go into the metaverse, which is like a physical manifestation of humanity's subconscious, and to infiltrate the minds of these bad adults and steal their evil intentions, therefore rehabilitating them and, well, 
making them, you know, face up to the to the bad things they've done, basically, which is an outrageous premise. Um, and every every single time you do this, it's like a really big, like set piece that's really built up, and it feels incredible. It feels like the climax to a movie every time you're infiltrating the mind palace of one of these like horrible, abusive adults, and it's done in such a way that's ridiculously cool. It's like playing a hyper stylized Inception movie. The soundtrack is absolutely incredible. It's one of the best soundtracks in any game ever. The art direction, again, I think is just peerless. It's just phenomenal. Everything you do in the game looks cool. Even going into the menu looks amazing. <laughs> you go into the menu and there's an animation with Joker. He's just like, like that. It's like, menu. <laughs> and you just go down the menu and each thing is like, <laughs> That's it. Oh, that I could just, <laughs> I could just play Persona 5's menu for hours, and it would still be a 10 out of 10 game. That's how good it is. Um, and this is just the story bit of it. This is just the plot. Like outside of this, and this is where I think the game really shines. There's this whole sort of social simulation element to it, where your job is to build up your relationships with the various people you interact with so your school friends or other people you meet on the street and as you increase your sort of um rank with the with each of these people that increases the power of your persona which is like the thing you can summon in battle when when you're in this metaverse place and the more powerful your social links become the more powerful you get in battle and the battle system is it's a turn-based battle system but it's not like, you know, if you're thinking turn-based battle system, oh, sort of laborious, I have to think and wait. It's, it, oh, it, it feels immediate and brilliant and fresh to do. It's just for everyone. I, I honestly think, I, I don't think it's possible for anyone to play Persona 5 and not think it's absolutely amazing. It's genuinely that good a game, even if you don't think Japanese role-playing games are the type of game you would normally play please just just forget what you think you know about JRPGs and play Persona 5 because it is unbelievable. So for those of you who have just got a PS4 uh, for Christmas, first of all, very lucky for you. Um, PS4 is a great console and you're gonna have a banging time with it, but I'm going to recommend one game to you today. Uh, it's very hard because there are loads and loads of games and I was debating this for like, I think two hours last night, you know, just like, in, yeah, like, yeah, just, yeah, like I was in my head and I looked at like the what games I've got and I was like, what would I recommend? Because it is like everyone's got personal preference, but I've picked a game that I think can appeal to many, many, many people because the game I've picked is Yakuza Zero. Ah, ah, what did you think I was going to pick? Um, have to tell you later. Okay, tell me later. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I picked Yakuza Zero because, no, I'm not just saying this because I absolutely love the Yakuza series and I think it's absolutely fantastic. But much like Grand Theft Auto V, it's got so many different things within it that I think can just appeal to everyone. I mean, I've only got into the series recently and I wish I got into it sooner, especially like um, if I could just got a PS4 and if someone and introduced me to Yakuza Zero, I would have been mind blown. It looks gorgeous with all the colors, the lighting, the, the way the characters are designed and how they look and everything. It's just a brilliant game. Hours and hours worth of gameplay. Um, like there's so many side stories, mini games, uh, things you can upgrade your combat with and spend money. The fact you can just throw money around is brilliant. I mean, there's nothing yeah. better. Yeah, <laughs> you can. Like literally, if there's a horde of enemies coming at you and you're killing you, you can just throw money and then they stop and then they're like, oh, money, and they all just pick it up. That and it's work. brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it does, and it's great. You feel like such a power overlord, and you've got um, a really enticing story with it as well, coming from two different characters from different angles. Um, and also within their two like little worlds, because you sort of swap between the two, there's there are both so many different things you can do in them. For example, Kiryu is very much focused on, it's going to sound really bland, but real estate. Because um, I remember... <laughs> I, I might got the game for you, <laughs> I just started downloading it. <laughs> well, I thought the same at first. I remember my friend played it, he was like, oh, I'm just doing real estate, but he didn't explain to me what it was. But it's actually a money 
party. It's a parade <laughs> of just getting millions and millions and millions of Rosie, yen. you're still just describing real estate. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like then you have money battles, you have to purchase properties, and then if there's like, let's, you've got like a king of a certain area, you have to beat them up because they're like, oh no, my thugs are going to ruin your property. So you're like, no, they're not. So you beat them up and then you get a fan of money and you're just like, still yeah, I just estate. defeat. <laughs> 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 and then Where's got, the game? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, I'm only summarizing a small portion of, because you've got, this is on the side, you've got the sub stories, then you've got the main big plot in general, and just, oh, it's just such a big game, and you can just dive into hours and hours and hours of it, and even karaoke. I mean, <laughs> do I need to say anything more? <laughs> just do it for the karaoke, if anything. And, and then you've got the UFO catchers, and oh, it just appeals to so many different things. You can go to the arcade, play some retro arcade games as well. It's just, oh, it's just such a big, gorgeous, blooming marvellous world. And I can't recommend it enough because honestly, I think there is something for everyone. And even if you wouldn't think you're into something, it just has a twist on it that you're like, wow, this is awesome. I'm earning big yen from this. That's your new middle name. Yeah. <laughs> Rosie Big Yen Caddy. <laughs> Put on my Twitter name. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, Yakuza is Zero, fantastic game, and if you've just got a PS4, you can get it for a really, really good price, and it's a PlayStation hit for a reason. So, smashing game, get on that, it's brilliant. Can we get you doing the menu animation at the camera? <laughs> menu. <laughs> Items. Equipment. Oh, there's more. Personas. <laughs> that was so exactly it. <laughs> Can we make a DVD and have that be the menu? We are literally Not making a DVD. <laughs> Okay, that seems like a good point to press pause on this whole video. And even more than usual, this week we want to see your suggestions in the comments for everyone looking to see where they should start their PS4 collection, or on the hunt for brilliant games they might have overlooked. Give us a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more, and join us again next Wednesday for another Tuesday Checklist. For the players.